Come one, come all to my casting call. So, one of the videos I really wanted to do after rereading the Hathaways series was to cast it. So, we are going to give it a 2021 casting. Let's see how I do. Let me get my notes out because I took a lot of them. It was truly hard to go through all these actors and actresses and decide which one best fits. My choices might be controversial. Let me know your thoughts. Please like tell me because there are certain people that I saw in my mind that like, no, this person is Cam, Mary Penn, whoever. Um, I actually probably struggled with the women a little bit more, but there are certain ones that I really see. So I would love to hear your castings. Let's hear it. Okay, first we're gonna start with Mine Till Midnight and this is Cam Rowan and Amelia Hathaway. Everywhere has Kobe Smulders as Amelia Hathaway. And to be honest, she would be a great Amelia Hathaway. Like she would really, really be a good Amelia Hathaway. Um, just that dark hair, those blue eyes, gorgeous. This is where I think it might get a little interesting. I wanted someone like rugged and just very cam-ish, but also someone with like a very kind, good heart and Momoa. I think Jason Momoa would be a great cam. Obviously I'm gonna put these up um let me just give you some he's you know just the long hair the rugged also he strikes me as someone that would be like exponentially caring for the entire family i kind of get the sense that that's how he is with his family so momoa is my cam rowan uh can i give an honorable mention to bobo stewart who i could also very much see as a cam i think it's I, I casted, I cast the series based on the descriptions that were given in the book. However, I am all for a Bridgerton style casting. So if anyone has any other ideas for who might play these characters, let me know. We can do a recasting. So those are, so Momoa and Kobe are my Cam and Amelia. Moving on. Okay, so next we have Seduce Me at Sunrise, which is Mary Penn and Winifred. Uh, this is nothing new. I've seen this many times, but I think Rosamund Pike would be an amazing Winifred because I think she's very delicate. She's very lovely. Winifred is known for being, known for being very delicate, very blonde, very fair, just gorgeous. Rosamund Pike, I think, would do an amazing job. Obviously, she's an incredible actress. She would do an amazing job, but I just think she also is very sweet while also, like she has a very sweet looking face, how also, however, also being gorgeous. Um, I could see her, I could see her being the frail Winifred and also fighting for what she wants at the end. Here's where it got weird. I think a amazing Mary Pen would be Hidithik Roshan. I think that's how you say his name, but he is the actor that played, oh, well, I know him from the Doom movies and not like D-O-O-M, like D-H-O-O-M. He is actually a Bollywood actor, a sexy, sexy Bollywood actor. So I'm gonna put him up. Tell me what you think about this one, but I think that he and Momoa would be really good as brothers. I could see them, yeah. I, he's just like wildly attractive and just this like hulking man, which I think fits Mary Penn really well. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that one. <laughs> Next we have Poppy and Harry Rutledge in Tempt Me at Twilight, I think. I'm gonna, these names, I don't know. I'm never great on the names, but I know who the people are. So these are my thoughts for Harry and Poppy. I don't know what you guys are going to think about this one. Okay, so for Poppy, I think Poppy would actually be a really good Rosie Huntington Whitley. I, so Poppy has auburn hair. So I think that could work really well. Um, she's also just, you know, smart and beautiful and 
a little bit quiet in it, but not quiet. I don't know. I'm, I'm not describing her very well, but I think Rosie Huntington Whitley would make an awesome poppy. Who would be Harry? <laughs> I think Harry would be a really great Aaron Taylor Johnson. Maybe this is just me. Maybe this is just me projecting. I think, well, first off, I really like Aaron Taylor Johnson. I, I think he does a really good job. I don't know. I could just see him being Harry Rutledge. I could see him being like a little bit American, but also a little bit British and just a wealthy magnet. I think he and Rosie would be a cute couple in it. I don't know. That one might have been the most like off the wall, I would say, as far as like maybe it's a stretch for it to fit, but I liked my casting. Okay, this is my favorite one of all because it was the easiest one to cast for me. I don't know. Well, okay, first off, I think next we're at um, Married by Morning, which is Leo and Catherine Marks. So one of the biggest things for me is I could have put anyone that I picked. So I picked a certain actor to play Leo. And really this actor could have honestly played several people in this series, but I think he is Leo, Henry Cavill. Now that's nothing new, but I could easily see him being a degenerate to the most wonderful. Like I really want to see Cavill save her from the tree. Like that's what I want to see. I think he is perfectly like aesthetic wise those blue hair or i'm sorry the the dark hair and the blue eyes just gorgeous such a beautiful leo um i also think he's very smart and sassy and i just think cavill would be great i don't know how much he'd be into it but we could hope we could hope now who to play opposite him i'm gonna go saoirse ronan i think she'd be an awesome katherine marks I don't know that she 100% fits the look exactly. Catherine Marks is like a very pale blonde, um, but obviously, I mean, she's a pale blonde, so yeah, that works. But I think that Saoirse Ronan could really stand up to Henry Cavill. I think that their banter, their enemies to lovers would be, it would be amazing. So yeah, that is my Leo and Catherine Marks. Henry Cavill and Saoirse Ronan. Now, I took a long time for the next casting for Love in the Afternoon. Love in the Afternoon is Beatrix and Christopher. So I thought this person in mind as like, Christopher is like blonde and fair and just like blonde and fair. He's a, a captain in the army. So Scott Eastwood who is a little bit of everything. I'm not going to lie. Like Scott Eastwood is gorgeous. I could easily see him playing a military captain. I could easily see him in a suit or in the uniform. I think it'd be all really nice. Um, and for my B, I'm going to go Anna Popplewell, who I actually considered for Amelia. And to some extent, I could also see her as Amelia, but I think she would be a better Beatrix. I think she's gorgeous. I also think she has a very sweet look to her, which I was kind of basing off of B sort of talking, like B always gives everyone like a full undivided attention in the same way that she does her animals. And I don't know, I could just see Anna Popplewell just being this very sweet B character. I think that would be really nice. So that's the end of my current Hathaway's casting. Let me know if you agree or disagree or if you think someone would be better cast in the role. I'm not gonna lie, I did a lot of research for this one and I could have come up with like, I was almost gonna do like a bunch of honorable mentions, but like we could do that all day. So tell me what your honorable mentions are. I would love to do a recasting if this wasn't exactly correct. And if any more of the books comes come out in the series, which I think there's one coming out later this year, or maybe June or July, something like that. We are going to cast that for sure. All right, guys, thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, if you think I should do any other castings, definitely leave it in the comments below. All right, bye.